hi this video is about content validity index many times we design scales to measure a construct example suppose we have to measure weight we use a weighing scale to measure weight however if you have a construct like job satisfaction which is an abstract uh, thing how would you measure that you measure it using scales a scale will have a group of items to measure the construct now while designing a scale the first thing what we take into consideration is the definition of the construct after defining the construct then we go to uh, write group of items which will measure the construct here we need to do we need to ascertain the group of items which we have written for the construct measure the construct in reality so here we need to do we need to give the scale to various experts in these fields and invite from them various structured suggestions content validity index is formally defined couple of items for the construct which is being measured in other words it is whether the items sampled for inclusion on the two example polit and back have used the yardstick content validity index or cvi to capture this phenomena cvi is basically divided into two ICVI and SCVI. And ICVI measures the efficacy of the item, whereas an SCVI measures the efficacy of the scale in total. There are two other sub uh, characteristics or sub properties in an SCVI. That is, we calculate the universal average of the total scale, and also when we calculate the uh, we calculate SCVI with respect to average. This is a simple rating form which I am using here. Now, while giving this rating form to to a uh, judge, we need to adequately or exclusively define the construct under consideration. We should not rely upon their memory if, of what they what knowledge they have to. Uh, rate the item under consideration so one of the primary prerequisite is to offer an exclusive definition of the construct under consideration then back uh, says there are one to four rating scale what we have designed one is not relevant to somewhat relevant three quite relevant and four highly relevant you look at under item description column item one item two to item ten in this example we have taken ten items to measure maybe a construct and then a judge or a rater has to appropriately score example item one he may score four item two we may score three now how many judges we should give this scale is a statistical as well as a convenience factor we will explain in the next slides some typical values let's take a case we have given the the form under consideration to six raters so the minimum icvi or item level content validity index in this case should be around 0.83 whereas SCVI average should be around 0.8 and above. SCVI UA that is universal average is a very conservative approach. There are no results which say this should be the acceptable value. However, we should report SCVI and SCVI UA in the scale. A guideline would be Linz criteria an ICVI example if we have three to five an ICVI of one is acceptable whereas SCVI uh, AVE around 0.9 or 0.8 and above is acceptable however we should necessarily uh, mention SCVI UA also should be calculated 
however in case uh, if if there is a substantial uh, uh, reviewing of icvi uh, that leads to substantial scale uh, being reviewed this calls for one more round of uh, content validity with a different set of experts now we'll see an example of height how we can calculate icvi and scvi using excel i have here under item description if you look at this column of item description scale item 1 scale item 2 to scale item 10 these are the items under consideration which we are going to evaluate these are the raters rater 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and they have given the scores of for this scale item now we need to calculate the number of agreement among the raters what we use what we do here we can use a simple formula to calculate the number of agreement we can use a function called count if And you can put here that since we have a four uh, you know four ranking from one to four we say a proportionate agreement would be three and four if it is five uh, in terms of the five scale which we have used to rank the judges then we can say it's from four and five okay in this case we say it is equal to or greater than 3 and we close it the bracket so we will get in this case as 6 why because of simple reason all the raters have agreed to our uh, uh, means for the scale uh, item 1 all the raters have agreed now we can drag it down further and that will give us the number of agreements uh, among the others now if you look at scale item 2 there is one disagreement that is writer 1 has this agreement however uh, rate of 3 and 4 uh, means uh, the raters have agreed that's why the number of agreement has come down here further now we need to calculate the icvi all we have to do is number of agreements divided by the number of raters in this case it is 6 so the item level content validity index is 1 now we calculate for the remaining item if you look at it we say that for a 6 item 0.83 and above uh, is a good item to be considered now if you look at scale 8 it's having an icvi of 0.5 and 0.667 which suggests that authors are not uh, i mean the raters are not happy with these items now to calculate the scvi average is just a mean of these values here An SCVI average of 0.8 and above is pretty good. Now here we can calculate the total agreement among the raters. We can put a count if statement you can use and you can take this range and take for instance if all are agreeing that's what we meant by total total agreement so four people have agreed let us physically verify one two three and four so four 
so now we we have here 10 items and in the, in this 10 items only on four items the people have all the raters have agreed together so the scvi universal average is around 0.4 that is in 10 items only in four items all the raters have agreed in other words six items they have disagreed which shows in this the, this is basically the efficiency of the scale development process however uh, the authors which uh, we have referred earlier like Pollitt and Back and Lean have suggested that in case if C I I CVI values are acceptable SCVI AE average is acceptable then we need not base our decision on scvi ua however we need to report it this value of 0.4 is pretty very low a value around 0.6 maybe intuitively we can say it's good thank you